so happy to have you here if you're new don't forget to subscribe hit the like button if you like this video and also don't forget to go in the comments and say hi because I love replying to all of you with all my heart now today's video we are going to do like a first impressions with some swatches and a demo of the famous oh and by the way I have not any highlight on my face. Ta -da! We are going to be doing a first impressions on the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. This is how it looks like. I don't know if you can appreciate it, but it's really pretty packaging. Now, this is going to be. <coughs> Sorry, you guys. This was available on the Sephora website and the Anastasia's website on March, March, on March 3rd for $40 and it's going to be in stores in the 15th of this month so you can still get it I believe it's limited edition and it's vegan and cruelty free and it will last you for 12 months it says right here on the back I believe the ingredients are exactly the same as, as the other girl kiss that she has so yeah um, I don't know if you can appreciate it on the camera I don't know but it has like some tiny specks of sparkle and it's really beautiful really feminine and really really pretty I was very scared to buy this from the Sephora website because I have seen a lot of reviews that people have received their palettes broken. But let me let me say this. This is only my opinion. It's not Anastasia or Nicole Guerrero Sport or even Sephora. Sometimes um, these powders are so finely milled and postmans are not exactly, you know, 100% careful with all these packages. And sometimes they fall and they do all the stuff, but hopefully that did not happen to me. What I like is that the palette itself, it looks just like the packaging. So it's going to be like, it has the same sparkle. It says Anastasia, it says Nicole Guerrero, and I have, and it says all the information in the back also. Now, <clears throat> I love supporting other YouTubers and Nicole Guerrero. I have been watching her for a long, long time. Um, I used to watch her like she had red hair. And that was a long time ago because then she had like blonde tips until now. She has blonde hair and, and you know, she's really beautiful. So the palette, let me take this plastic. It, it comes protected and it came in the package bubble wrapped and all that stuff. I like that. It says Anastasia here has no mirror and these are all the colors and all the shades right here. I have not swatched this. What happened into this one is that when I opened my package and I took this off accidentally when I put it back on it ripped that one a little bit but as you can see they are all brand new never been touched so pretty and it's a beautiful palette I am light to medium skin tones skin tones I am only one skin tone duh. but I am light to medium and I can easily go with this four right here and I believe each individual pan it has <laughs> thank you mommy I'm gonna 
kasi naman. Eso baka naman. <laughs> Now, each individual pan, each one of this has net weight 4.5 or 6 grams, which is 0.16 ounces, each one of this. And I believe that this one is the same exact size as her other glow kit, you know, that is, I think it's the, yeah, the ultimate glow kit or the Moonchild palette, something like that, don't quote me on that. And because this is my first Anastasia glow kit that I ever own, so bear with me. Oh, and also I forgot to mention that I'm going to show you, like, insert a clip of some swatches in my girlfriend's arm. She's a little bit darker skin tones, so the swatches are going to be last if you want to see those. So let's begin. The palette is so pretty, I don't even want to touch that. But let's see if it's real, that is really creamy. We are going to start with Forever, Forever Lit right here, it's the white one. And if I see it up close, it just, <clears throat> it looks like it has like some kind of blue and purple shift to it. It doesn't look glittery or anything. And it feels soft. Oh my god. And yeah, it does. It's extremely pigmented. Let me, let's make a swatch right here. Oh my god! Mami, mira esto que lindo! Mami. Mami. Mira que lindo. Mm, so beautiful. That was forever late. <laughs> It honestly blew me away. <clears throat> Next, we're going to be swatching Kitty Cat. And it feels really buttery as well. It's It doesn't feel powdery or glittery, and it looks extremely... This one is like more peachy to me, or rose gold. And we're going to swatch it right here next to whatever lid. Whoa! Yeah, guys, this is for real? They're so beautiful, look at that. And they blend easily. It looks so beautiful, so Now let's swatch Forever Young, which is the third one right here. Let's swatch Forever Young. Oh, I used the wrong finger. Let me let me use the other finger. I got a little bit too excited. It feels buttery as well. It doesn't feel shocky or anything. Oh my god, that shade is so pretty. <gasps> that shade is so beautiful. <gasps> Oh my god. Oh my god. Were we young? Yes. Honey. Let's go with Glow Getter, which is this one right here. And I feel we can get a lot of uses out of this. Oh my god, look at that. It's so pretty. Let's switch it right here. My god, you guys. The hype is real. Look at that. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Now we're going to swatch Daydream. And it's a beautiful orange highlighter. And in the pan it looks definitely more a little bit glittery, but when you touch it it doesn't feel like that. So let's see. Oh my god, that is so beautiful. This was this is going to be a beautiful blush topper and a beautiful highlighter. I mean lid color. So beautiful. It's a little bit more subtle than the other ones, but definitely more beautiful. And one for three. If you guys don't know what one for three means, it means that when Nicole says I love you, it means one for three. She says that. So yeah looks very beautiful so let's swatch one four three and it's right here you guys these colors are extremely 
beautiful and pigmented like the hype for this is real I was like well I'm going to buy it and let's see if the hype is real but let me tell you guys you totally need to get this palette it looks so beautiful and I think I want to start like in one one of my cheeks I'm going to use forever lip now when I put my brush it doesn't kick any powder back so that is real I always have my brush my brush and let's see let's see oh my god you guys look at this beauty it has a blue shift to it you guys oh i'm sorry It's so pretty. I'm going to apply a little bit more. They blend like a dream. It looks like I have wetness in my cheek. Oh, so sexy and hot. Look at that. You guys, this is amazing. This is so beautiful. Now I am going to change my brush. I'm going to be this using this tiny one from Bare Minerals and I'm going to use the shade Kitty Cat. Let's see if it has any kickback. No, not kickback at all. Let's see how this one looks. Guys, this this is crazy. Oh my god. I am this is makeup porn right here. Makeup porn. Uh, in your face. Hundred percent you should definitely buy this palette. Like, look at that. I'm going to highlight my nose with Forever Young. This one right here. Let's see if I can. Let me use a smaller brush. I'm going to take this brush by e.l.f. And I'm going to dip it. No kickback. And let's put it in. Guys, highlight just makes any makeup blue away. You guys, look at that. Let me put a little bit on my brow bone. I'm going to take a little bit of Forever Young and put it into my brow bone. Oh my god. It's so beautiful. Guys, you can use this as eyeshadows or you can use them as whatever you want. Guys, this palette honestly blew me away. Now, because I am crazy and I want to use all this palette, I'm going to be using Glow Getter on my Cupid's bow. Let's see how it looks. I don't know. Just because we are going to be highlighted to the gloss. Seriously? Come on. Glow getter. It's definitely a getter. Now looking at them close, they don't look 
glittery or anything they look like they blend into my skin very nicely let me blend this a little bit I put also a little bit on my chin guys I am only oily skin don't put as much highlighter as me face right now but I am loving loving it you guys look at forever lit it's like lit look at kitty cat I am wet I am wet guys so next I want to try daydream which is this orange one right here and I want to try to use it as a blush topper and we will see how it looks if it looks pretty if it looks not so pretty I'm going to be using this wet and wild stippling brush this is what I always use for my blush and I'm going to give it a swirl and as you can see there's not any kickback let's put it as a blush topper to get even more highlighted definitely so pretty now my whole shake is on fire it doesn't have that much pigmentation but once you blend it in it just gives a nice luminous to the shake if you are a matte person like you love matte stuff I don't think you will like this as a blush topper to be honest but if you love experimenting and doing other stuff you're going to be totally fine <laughs> and I really really like it and I really do enjoy using it you guys so let's get to my final thoughts no 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 we cannot go to my final thoughts because I haven't used one for three and that will be a shame if I don't use one for three because that means that I love you and that means that Nicole loves us and she put a lot of effort into this palette we can see her in this palette so I'm going to zoom you a little bit Woo! I can live for this highlight and I'm going to be taking one for free on my finger and I'm going to be putting this on my lid I know that I have already makeup but I don't care let's put that in there it just gives like a nice golden touch to your lids these two are going to be beautiful on deeper skin tones. Let's do the same thing on the other side. That is how it looks. Also, I'm going to be taking that small brush and I'm going to be taking whatever lid and use it on my inner highlight look at that I am almost 20 minutes with this video and I don't even care like this is amazing so guys back to normal to my all my final thoughts you guys this palette is worth the $40 it's worth buying it and it's worth the name I am so excited that I was able to get this you guys if you can get it get it you will not for regret it and I do believe it's my new obsession I just used it and I know it's going to be my favorites look at that highlight though I look bomb sexy I love it so get it at Sephora or get it at the Anastasia Beverly Hills website and I 100% know you will love it. 
Thank you all so much for being here. And thank you for sharing this moment with me. I hope that you enjoyed this long ass freaky video. See you all on my next video. Bye.